Yo, what's up guys? Scammer Vaults here, and today I'm doing another tutorial video. So, this is, um, for most of my viewers, you're already going to know how to do this. But for some people, they, I mean, even how big the internet is, there's still some people that don't know how to do this task. So, if you couldn't tell from the title, so you were just going to be adding some more RAM. Um, it'd be the same process if you were replacing RAM, if your RAM wasn't working, if you had a dead stick. Um, just adding RAM. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add RAM into my Dell Optiplex um, 780. Um, it's got a quad core, um, core 2 quad, a um, NVIDIA graphics card, I forgot what card. And it's got a, um, what you call it? Uh, Sound Blaster 2. I believe, and uh, yeah, so we're going to install this in it, and the first thing you want to do is definitely unplug everything. You never do this while the computer's on, or you can, there's so many things that can happen for that. And then you're, based on what type of computer you have, if it's a laptop, um, you shouldn't follow this tutorial. I recommend going to another tutorial because desktop is completely different, but what you're going to do with your desktop is probably place it on the side. Um, now with um, regular desktops, you're going to have um, like two screws on the back here that you're going to have to unscrew, then you're going to slide the panel. But with this one, all you have to do is go up here, click it like that, and it should come out. I'm actually going to have to place this down. Alright, so I got it out here. Now you can see it's like that. You just pull it. Like this. It comes right off. So there you go. And then you just put it back in the same way. Pretty much you can just put it down and push it in. But, yeah. So, once you're in here, depending on what type of computer you have, there's either going to be a ton of wires everywhere like this, or it's going to be all nice and fancy because you got it from a pretty good manufacturer. Um, so what we're focusing on is down here. You can see these RAM sticks. I can actually um, take one out right now. So what you do is these little um, tabs right here, you just push one, push them back. If there's a RAM module already in it, just push it back on both sides. Like okay. that. And then pull it out. And there we go. We got some RAM. So I guess I'll show you how to I'll I'll show you how to install it now. So first you want to make sure, as I said, push these tabs back like that and then on the RAM there's going to be a notch you see the notch right here like that you want to align that with the notch in the RAM slot so my notch it's going that way so I'm going to put it in like this align it get it close get it in the actual slot we go in and then you're just going to put even pressure on both sides and push down and then just make sure it's in, and there you go. And now the other RAM module, the uh, I guess you could say new one, not really new, but yeah. You just do the same thing, even if it doesn't have a heat sink. Do the same thing. Put pressure on both sides. Straight down. Now, make sure you don't bend it, you don't wobble. If you're like very uh, clumsy and stuff, I'd recommend not doing it the way I do it, and just push down in the middle. Because if you're very wobbly and you go like that and you just break the stick, it's probably gonna get, uh, it's gonna probably gonna end up getting stuck in the slot and breaking, and it's gonna break the RAM. So, no point in doing that. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then this isn't really needed, but if anyone has a Dell Optiplex and they need to know how to put it on, you just kind of place it and drop it and pop it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Sorry this video is just short and probably a tutorial that no one that watches the channel benefited from. But if you did benefit from this, cool. <laughs> Hopefully it helped. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.